Kava Dumpa Kumba Yia Moka Bata Kachu Inki Sumo Bamun Rachi Kun Tonga Bun Shan Yunyan Kamunchi Kamana Ichuta Mun Patisa Iman Chaloba Kun Kipona, kava tumpa kuta iya moka paata. Chiyoka kutumpa kuta iya. Chikata Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then I've been desperate to find a match. If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play Pazak. So do you want to play or not? Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. Played well in our last match, but luck just wasn't with you. How dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not my fault you lost. I'm just a good player with a strong deck. Maybe you just need more practice. 
Or maybe you need to buy some better cards. Go talk to Uriah over there. He can sell you some cards to improve your deck, unless you want to play again right now. Excellent. You played well in our last match. How dare you, or me? If you're... Go away. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata! Ji yoka ku tumpa kulpa yia! One. Boska! Chiska nichu! Da hupa botenia go gigi piti! Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata! Ji yoka ku tumpa kulpa yia! Two. Ji yoka ku! Kimba muli rat wana ji! Kuyami juski chika nai! Uba baska dwana chichopa muska! Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu! Tune pudu! Rananu prata dunko shirkasha! Tum da pike! Three. I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for Davik Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. I don't have to take this abuse from you. I came here to relax. Shove off and find someone else to bother. I want to watch the dancing girls. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Kimba muli rat wana ji, kaba volpa murji guma ya. Uchu a penki, tani tuama ji, human a. Chao baso. Topa na oto bokasa, pampa ki muli. Kakin. Uchua Penki Chauba Patoga Yakuli Kokala Gigi Smilia Kinku in Kokala Ki Muli Ra Kum King Kimba no Kuni Topan Patoga Smilia I 
heard Davix hired a Mandalorian mercenary. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sorta of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. But I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space lug his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Becks from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Babrezhik, this gang. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Keep on I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is Tom Batura. 
Goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah! Go back to where you came from! We don't want your kind up here! Gloria. Yeah, why would a human want to help you, freak? Hey, aren't you... Hey, hey, stop that, you kids! Leave him alone! Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak! Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Supposed to be here? This ain't your home. Oh. 
Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you or being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. You, uh, you haven't done anything yet, but there's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before by people, and I... It won't happen again. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Me. You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Limits. It's obvious from the Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Kawanabata Ayuat, Tagwa Tanki Bora. Topa da Bunku, da Boda ni Winkis Makdona. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kupaliya moka paata! Kava tumpa kupaliya moka paata! What? Hmm? 
Rama na praka donko srca. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. Oh. Yeah! Ah! Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? And I don't want to argue with you either. I mean, you seem sincere enough, I guess. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to serve them in the fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? No, 
No, it wasn't even that. Th there were others. Good, solid men, trusted men who turned on us as well and joined their cause. Malik and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thak? Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the hidden backs. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Beck's for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gavin in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gavin if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Bex are watching you. Famous. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Kavadumpa <laughs> kun 
Honda dijo Tongaku. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu. Rana no prata don't know Sarcha. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. You better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan.
Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. <laughs>
いここのの。Back again. Excellent. Well, how dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not, or maybe you need to. If you want to ask, if back again, ask. But I think you're lucky. If you're
Kunci Yoka Kon Bolera Kien Kunci Bedua Kak Kon Batu Kunci Yoka Kon Bolera Kien Kunci Peci Bedua Kak Rundi Hau Tungga Rundi Hap Kunci Rundi Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but it's golden. From what I hear, well, that's all I can think of. I thought I said I don't want to talk. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? Oh, no. I'm not falling for that one. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Wait. I didn't mean it that way. Don't go, damn it. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most, Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. 
He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Thank you. 